Yeah, this is like 25 years of collecting. Oh. That is absolutely glorious. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, whoa! whoa. You're like a kid on Christmas. Oh, I love this. Yes, it's an entire 90s childhood collection. Retro games, retro toys, so much more, all inside of these boxes. Oh, and all of these too. Let's get right into it. We're gonna save this one for last, but if you guys like retro video games and toys, you're gonna wanna stick around because this collection is absolutely insane. Spent many thousands of dollars between this box, those boxes, and I have two more on the way. Hopefully they'll come by the end of the day and we can dive into those too. The stuff here is insane. I have no idea what you got and I'm very interested. <laughs> I mean, do okay. you know now? That is beautiful. There's so many in here. I mean, what's the story on this? It's a childhood collection. I mean, some of the stuff is from the 90s, some, of, some is from the 2000s. Viewer reached out and wanted to sell the entire thing. I've actually got three collections that we'll be unboxing today. This box I paid the most for compared to all of the individual <laughs> boxes. I'm very Why? excited for that one. <laughs> um, uh, we worked out a deal through email. Most of the stuff is new. The stuff that's not is like, like new in beautiful condition. So I'm super pumped up about it. I don't even know how we're gonna display it all. I think we'll just make a magical display of 90s glory around me as we unbox it. Maybe we'll put games on the shelf as we go, but it's gonna be a beautiful sight. So we got the Power Rangers. These are uh, 2014 Toys R Us exclusive era. I think we might even have the goal of getting the vast majority of this sold within a week as well. So uh, you're gonna wanna stick around for how we're gonna sell it too. And then these are like the original um, 90s Power Rangers figures. So, uh, what is it, seven inch maybe? There's the Red Ranger. Jason, the Red Ranger. Yeah, but there's a complete set of these, like. And Zach. Mint condition. It's beautiful. Are they all unique? What is? Yes, yes, I don't think there's any duplicates. Holy cow. Oh, it's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Look at that. Oh, white tiger zord. Look at that. With white ranger. I think this one, some of these are brand new. Some of them have been opened for display. Which, like this one has been opened for display, but mint in the box. Uh, let's see, Megazord. That was always my favorite one as a kid. That thing is nuts. That's brand new, never opened. How much was that thing back in the day? Gosh, I don't know. Somebody should comment if you know, because that would be uh, very interesting. What do you think, like 50 bucks back in the day maybe? 25, I don't know. I would think more than 50, you think? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like 50 bucks would have felt expensive. Oh, hey, here's the, the uh, price tag. 40. <laughs> 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 Toys R Us, yes, $39.99. <laughs> Blue, Billy. Billy. Green Ranger, Super Legends. So this is newer. Yes. This is an example of the newer stuff. Yep. yep, yep, yep. How much newer is it? Like what's the ratio we're working with here? Oh boy, I don't even really remember. I think it's mostly vintage, but a good mix of new as well. Sorry we're putting this on the ground. This is the only space we have. We, uh, place, with our goals of selling everything, uh, as quickly as we are, it's gonna gradually open up room for us to be able to really maximize the space. There's the yellow. Gosh, these things are pretty darn clean. So about how many unique figures are there? Any idea? You know, sometimes I make these buys and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I want it. <laughs> and then I figure it out when it gets here. Uh, uh, I make sure the numbers are there and then after that, I figure it out. We gotta display the whole set, that's... Oh yeah, like, we're gonna get it properly displayed. Oh, Dragon Zord! <laughs> like everything, all, all the big ones are here. That is sweet. And this one is sealed, never opened. Wow, how many of these are sealed? It looked like a it's lot like, of them. It's like rough, roughly half, okay. I think. And, and the ones that aren't were, I mean, collector, right? Had them for display, out of the mm -hmm. box, uh, wanted to get... this. So this is the Legacy uh, Dragon Dagger, so the remake of it, and I think that one ironically actually goes for more than the original. Was there just less of a made, likely? Maybe, it's probably like, or it's, just it's probably a little better made, like just a little bit more hardcore, maybe more expensive materials and stuff. It looks nice, well, like look at the, the colors dragon on dagger, it. I mean. It's the dragon dagger, brother. That thing is beautiful. The cool thing about all these, this is like the perfect era for like the colors of boxes. It's so pretty. There's the original. So it's smaller. So smaller, definitely like, you know, lesser materials inside of that one. Yeah. If you were to ask me the cheaper one, I would definitely think that one. Oh kind of makes gosh. sense. We're gonna save that one for the end, but here's more of those Toys R Us. I think we have the complete set of the Toys R Us 2014. Like All right, another surprising thing, just checking some of these prices, like 
These five inch, we confirmed it, they're five inch figures from 2014, are legacy figures, 20, is it 2014 or 2016? I don't know, but they're like more expensive than the original ones, the original eight inch. I don't know if they were just like really limited or what, but collectors seem to really want these things and they are well made, but that's interesting. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. This one. Power Ranger Zero. Oh, Zio. Zio, yeah. Ooh, that one. Another Dragon Zord. There's a limited one. black edition legacy <laughs> Dragon Zord. Turn that around. That's heavy. Yeah. Dude, 11 inch. That is amazing. With an articulated tail. That is so cool, the black and gold. Oh my goodness. Put that next to the other Dragon Zord. Do you have any Power Rangers things in your personal collection? No, I don't. Huh? Sadly. Do you have any Power Rangers games? Nothing, no, nothing really, no. I should, like Power Rangers the movie, the game for Super Nintendo. Stop it, that's not. That's a thing, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Power Rangers the movie, but it's the a game. Super Nintendo game, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, big boy. There it is. Titanus. The, the Carrier, Carrier Zord. Zord. 22 feet long. That's crazy they can fit <laughs> yeah. that in this box. Wow. I, that is amazing. 46 Gosh, meters that for feet? everybody else. It must just be wrapped all in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a glorious Power Rangers collection, and guys, we still have all of that to go. Is it the same collection? All of that is from the same person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Box number two. Let's dive in. That first one, look how we got it set up now. Oh, it's so beautiful. Would you just look at that? Oh. <laughs> look at that. That's nice and shiny. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Zoom. All right, we're in the future now. Uh, we're going to give away this PS5, uh, but more on that later, so stick around. Got all the bubble wrap undone from the games. These are amazing. So the top shelf here, Sky Guy, everything is sealed. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Xbox One, Switch, you got Zelda Skyward Sword, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, like all these PS3 games, Ghostbusters, 360 games with some Halos. Isn't Halos are sealed? Yeah, like straight up. That one's not. Oh, they're all, oh, okay, that, that, that one, it had that, so I thought it was. But that one's not, but everything else is. PS4 games, The Last of Us, probably a good time for that one. Um, Spider-Man, that game is glorious. It's probably in my top 10 all time. There's more sealed Halos, PS4, and then Mario Galaxy 2 and Zelda Twilight Princess, both original print, which is a which is a big deal for sealed games, especially iconic titles. And then everything down here is mint condition, including three GameCube, two Zeldas, one Mario Sunshine. Fantastic condition, which is very exciting. And in this box is one of my holy grail items Bioshock! No. Whoa! No! <laughs> That's all right. But this is the Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition, which I've never owned. I'm sorry, but this one is probably staying with me. <laughs> That's a cool piece I tried piece so to have. hard to get it when it came out, I couldn't do it. What's in it? The Master Sword. Oh. In addition to everything that came in the like Legend Edition or whatever one I got, so you've got the... This case here, oh, which is a carrying case, case yep, yeah, for the Switch. Then it's got the coin, it's got the map. I think there might be like a steelbook, maybe? What was the retail on this thing? Oh man, was it like 250 or something? It was it was pretty expensive. I don't know if the cartridge... Oh yeah, so it, both editions have the custom cover art on the back there. So that is different than the re regular release of the game. And there's it's the... got the map and the coin. Wow, that's... Heavy duty. That is pretty sweet. That's cool. But this is the part that is the difference. <laughs> Whoa. There it is. That's glorious. So right. retailed at 250. What's its value now? It was so hard to get, you didn't even get one. And you looked yeah, and looked I mean, day and looked. one. It might retail at 250. I'm struggling to remember, but um, day one, it was worth a lot more than uh, what it retailed for because it was so hard to get. I mean, this thing is limited, like crazy limited. Like seven of them were made. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, today it goes for five, 600 in used condition, probably a good bit more in new condition. So that's glorious. It's my favorite game of all time. I mean, I gotta keep it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the only edition you don't have. Yeah, I, I love this, love this game. Well, that's cool. I mean, like 20 years I've wanted that thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna get to the heaviest box soon, but before I want to get to the two smaller boxes, because sometimes the best stuff comes in small packages, and we shall see if that is true. I'm liking, I'm liking this so far. 
Ooh. Well, there you have it. Ooh, that's the collector's edition. And oh, I understand why these were in a box. Within a box. So, show me, show me, show me. <laughs> You're like a kid on Christmas. Oh, I love this. And I'm just the mom recording. Dude, the it's, it's the Ocarina of Time collector's edition. Like the gold card. Okay. Of Ocarina complete. That's cool. That's was that's the, actually hard to find. Was the box different? I mean, yeah, I can yeah, see that it's, it's like gold glossy, and shiny. Yep, yep, the box is different. That cover is glossy. Here, get that game out. Well, I got this one out, Majora's Mask. Ooh. So what makes the gold on, is it the same kind of gold? Like it's, it? Yeah, it's slightly different. It's more glossy and darker on Majora's Mask than it is on the Collectors of Ocarina. This is like this a similar color to like the OG Zelda and Zelda 2 on NES almost. Kind of, but I, shiny, I, I think but... this is an exact match to the gold on Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh. Which is half gold and half silver. But yeah, that's a, seems like a color match to that one. So these games are beautiful. I already have them in my collection. Normally I would like to put something like that on eBay. But you know, in cases like this, I like to hook you guys up with your collections. And the best way for us to do that is in live auctions on whatnot. We've got a giant one coming up on the 16th, so these and so much more is gonna be in that show. This is like the, oh, this is so funny because another collection I have is gonna look remarkably similar to this. The one that will be coming, some of it is like Zelda Glory. Ah, oh, yes, it's got the, it's got the remote, the gold remote inside. That's cool. Well, I got this unpackaged. Man, the Skull Kid figure, Majora's Mask 3D. I was just telling Sky Guy, I ordered this, pre-ordered it when it came out, was stoked that I got one from Best Buy. And they send it, and my package was just totally like ripped up, terrible condition. Like this one even has a minor tear on it, just because the way it's designed. Like you know, you get a finger snag in there, and you're causing damage. But I think this one might have to replace my original, and then my original will put up in that whatnot as well. That is a that is really cool. Same with this. Love that gold remote. Zelda stuff is just so. It's just the greatest cool. man. Yeah, I like it. The look of it, and then the quality of it. just about every single. Zelda game, like so top notch. Ocarina of Time, still number one or two mm -hmm. ranked game of all time, depending on where you look. So, pretty phenomenal. We got another Zelda related thing right there that's crazy rare for Wii U. I'll get that unboxed. Ooh, yeah. Zelda Wind Waker HD Ganondorf. Yeah, that thing is like so rare. Um, no sticker seal on it, but it looks like complete. And then you got the Wolf Link. Twilight Princess. Is that loose in there or did it come like that? It's loose, yeah. I mean, this is opened. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, these are extremely hard to find. And honestly, curious your guys' thoughts on Wii U prices, right? Like 2021, I think we saw like, what was a 10 to 20% increase. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it still has some room to grow because the Wii U, honestly, like I had it, uh, my brother had it day one and Loved it. Like, there's great games, a lot of great releases. The console's pretty solid. It's kind of reminds me of like Dreamcast, a little bit like GameCube, and it had similar sales to GameCube, a little bit less, but. I think it's the worst selling Nintendo console of all time. Of the physical hardware, but yeah. like not counting Virtual Boy and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, I feel like it's got room to grow still. I'd be curious your guys' thoughts in the comments. Let me know. But I didn't mention, we also got the Golden Eye with the Golden uh, Classic controller. That's cool. Uh, and then the Mario, Super Mario All-Stars. Let's get to this next really small box. Oh, which looks like a bunch of Amiibos. So when looking for nice. Amiibos and stuff like that, is is there anything good to look for? What do you look, what you, do you target, if at you, all? You look for exactly what's in these bags. Oh. <laughs> this is like all, every single Zelda Amiibo ever is what this looks like. But yeah, all of these are Zelda related and the, on average, these have really strong value. Uh, like Breath of the Wild ones, the Wind Waker ones, the Toon ones. Uh, but then there's just a lot of random ones that have gone up in value. If you see them out at a garage sale or something, look up your prices. If they're priced reasonably, you probably want to get like all of them. Let's get these laid out and uh, show how many and which ones we got. This one's unfortunate. Only, only one casualty. So when looking mainly at like garage sales and stuff, what's better to look for? Amiibos, Skylanders, or Disney Infinity? I mean, I think I know the answer. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Value-wise. Obviously the coolest, in my opinion, are Amiibos, right? They also do correlate to having the strongest value mm -hmm. on average. If you find a bunch of Amiibos, you're gonna have some good ones. Most Skylanders are, are darn near worthless. That being said, if you find the Imaginators with the bigger, like... They're all octagonal uh, bases. Yeah, octagonal bases. Those are the ones that a lot of them are worth good money because I remember when Toys R Us's were closing, 
Those were $16.99 till the last day. They never went on clearance, per figure. <laughs> so Imaginator's like, just held their value and it's the best version of kind of an iconic series. And then Disney Infinity, like some random ones can be pretty good. I usually get a little more excited if I see Disney Infinities. If I put those at number two, Skylanders at number three, but with the caveat, if you, if you find Imaginators, you've got something special. <laughs> All right. Pretty heavy. 65 pounds of glory. Oh, is this the console box? Oh, that would no, explain that would make it. sense for all that weight. Oh, oh whoa! Hold the phone. I didn't realize I was getting a PS5. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. I did now, not look that cool. Now is it, oh, it's gotta be the normal version, right? It's the original. It's physical though. That's cool. Not digital. Physical for life, y'all. Ooh, there's the Last of Us collectors. Oh, uh, that's part two. We gotta get sold real quick. That's was there a collector's edition for part one, or just the part two? I, uh, I think it, th that's the uh, one that we've seen recently. Yeah. Uh, and then we got a Series X in here. What? <laughs> and uh, Scorpio is this Project Scorpio version of the One X? And then a white Wii U. That's the launch edition, correct? Uh, yeah, Project I think Scorpio. So. Project Scorpio. And then the Nintendo Goodness. Switch. Well, that was, well, uh, I understand why it was heavy. The Wii U. Yeah, so the show just came out, like, a little while ago. We're multiple episodes in now, but Sky Guy and I have been watching it and enjoying it. It's a great show. A it's great really game. Good. I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, but just another thought piggybacking off of that is, you know, if you're in reselling, capitalize on trends. Everything The Last of Us is majorly spiked right now and uh, definitely worth looking for if you're huh? in the boot at game stores. <laughs> And beyond. Same so. with God of War. The show was announced for that. In the addition to... Plus the game was great. So that one... Yeah. I just sent off... We had like 40 God of Wars for PS3, PS2. I sent off all of them because I'm like, we got to get those out immediately. That thing is beautiful. That will likely be for sale on the auction. <laughs> Matt, say that again. <laughs> I said, is this all from one collection? <laughs> blowing his mind. I think it's blowing all of our minds right now. Uh, yes. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is like 25 years of collecting. 19, what, 95 until all the way up till 2022. That's at least 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, brother. Ooh, ooh. There we go. What is this? There's some turtles. Oh, oh. It's one? a letter from our friends. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Chase, in this box is the Wii Sports and Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition CD. That I forgot to put in the games box. Oh, okay. That's cool. That That's goes with the. Going on whatnot. That goes with the cool Zelda coin. <laughs> it looks like. Yeah, it's like it's the same similar. kind of size. Yeah. Turtles. Yeah, so we got a lot of turtles. We'll start with All the right. SNES Classic and then NES Classic. Can't go wrong there. So apparently, if you buy on eBay, make sure you look. So this is the U.S. version. There's like a PAL version. It still works, but um, the the whole box art is different, and I kind of like it better. Really? Yeah, your brother has one. And I was looking at it, and I was oh, like... Oh, yeah, we got that at a garage sale for five bucks. <laughs> okay. Years ago. It was crazy. <laughs> it did make sense. That's cool. The Wii Sports and the Master Edition. Uh... Oh, and it is a different uh, soundtrack. So that's another difference cool. in the Master Edition versus the Legend Edition or whatever it is. I'll put that there, and I'll put this on top of that. Eh, eh. Casually stepping over consoles. Whoa! Hit a like for the turtles. Let's go. I remember these guys being such a pain in the butt in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES game. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I would always use cheats. <laughs> Just use the game genie and be invincible. <laughs> Action replays destroyed Pokemon for me. We used them after like grinding our Pokemon to level. Like, I mean, we had, Quinn and I, that was the way we bonded as kids. We were rollerblading in the basement with our Game Boys, playing Pokemon, and I would just be like playing the Pokemon League over and over again. We had dozens probably hundreds of legit raised to level 100 Pokemon. Oh my gosh. On the games, like no no cheats, no nothing. Grinded it out for like so many hours. I don't even know. Like, And then there's me, I beat the game. I use action replay and just instantly give myself 999 <laughs> of everything. 999 rare candies, there yep. you go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's see, we did that like after years of doing that and after doing that and like experiencing it for like a month, I didn't play Pokemon for like six years. Because <laughs> I didn't want to do the grind. It like kind of ruined the fun of uh -huh. the grind, right? Yeah, that's why I cheat. <laughs> <laughs> go. Just gotta cheat for life now. <laughs> okay, so we have a Patrick Star uh, yes. Ninja Turtles crossover. That's right. Yep, gosh. The Wrath of King. They're, these are all modern. 
They're like, well, it's like vintage look. Like yeah, they're yeah. using the vintage photos. Right. Like there's Donnie right. with a mop. Some of them might be like straight remakes or like just more detailed versions of the originals. That's a cool controller. That is pretty cool. Got the gold. Find out what that's from. It's a special edition lunar. <laughs> special edition lunar white. Well, do you know? You have it. Do you know the best era of Ninja Turtles to look up? Probably like 70s. Were they around in the 70s? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, I, the movies were like <laughs> late 80s, 90s. early 90s, yeah, right? Yeah, like late 80s is when it, it's when it came out. Like the, the, the better figures, like vintage figures, yeah, what are you looking for? Late 80s, uh, like 89. If you're looking for value, like these probably on average have more value, the, the more detailed modern figures. Okay. Um, but if you have complete mint vintage figures, then those are gonna have really good value too. Next box. Next box, it's a big one. And after this, we still have. The crazy, crazy small package. Let us know if you guys like us doing these big unboxings. We think they're pretty fun because you get to see a huge oh. variance of stuff we wouldn't normally get. I love doing them, so I hope you guys like it too. Oh, oh. So more rangers are in here and more turtles. There's something at the very bottom too. Cool stuff, cool stuff. That's Mighty cool. Morphin Power Rangers. Vintage Power Morphin. It's got like little that's cool. Things. So you probably put those in and it makes a different sound. I would guess that, yeah. Um, here's, so these are, oh my gosh. The hyper detail on that. Like you can see his Quality. eyeballs. I, it's kind of scary to me. Is it? Yeah, look at that. Leonardo. Oh, Master Splinter. Shredder. Uh, Michelangelo. Raphael. Oh, Ooh, there you go. There we go. Casey Jones. Whoa. Dang. That's my favorite so far. Team and T. Two, the secret of the ooze, Tonka Razor. But man, are they nice. That's cool. That is really cool. Look at all the pizza. You can build your That's own some pizza. some detailed pizza. I know, it's all hyper detailed. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. And the last thing, oh yeah. So this is newer as well. So anything legacy Dang. is what, early 2000s or sooner? Some of it's like been two, two, 2010s. Okay. 2015 on this one. That's so cool. That's very heavy too, probably five pounds. More than that. Maybe six or seven. Yeah. Good weight to it. At least so. 60. Yeah, maybe 60. Yeah, you're probably right. This box was like 25 pounds, so that adds up. Yeah. <laughs> now time for the tiny box. I've been waiting for you this You paid one. an extreme amount for it. Uh, yeah. Same collection? Different collection. Okay. Different collection. This has been a fun you got, surprise. You this stuff. Okay. Is it games? It's games. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. likes games. All right, cool, it's a, cool. Ooh. I like that. They're all in little boxes. I like these boxes. One at a time. Are you ready? I guess. Whoa there. This is a good one. Mega right? Man 5 for NES. That is the best, the best one? one. Next to Mega Man Mega 1 Man and Mega one? Man 5 are the big two wow. from the set of six on NES. The purple boxes are just so. They're iconic, man. Capcom purple. Oh my gosh. What is that? Super Adventures of Batman and Robin. Okay. Complete. What the heck? Wait, um, it's partially sealed too. Oh yeah, it's got the, the wrapping on it. Wow. So the box is gonna be really glossy when that comes off. That's, that's huge, like that's a huge game right there. Yeah, I don't, tell me a little bit about this one. Uncommon, and I think it's also pretty good. Best of both worlds. Okay. Similar to Mega Man 5. Box Come number on. three. What is it? I like this little size box. Oh! oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop it. Another one. <laughs> what? For those that don't know, we just sold one of these, like, near mint. Yeah. Holy cow. Well, that one's not quite near mint, but still. DuckTales 2 complete. Probably 800 eight, bucks. 800 bucks. In that condition, if it was near mint, it's more like 1200. <laughs> well, now I know the more kind of stuff <laughs> we're getting into anymore. here. Uh, I'll save that for last. Oh, is it even better? <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> my goodness, what's that? Oh my gosh, I forgot I was getting these. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> yes. Are they Pokemon packs? Yeah. What? <gasps> they're not. Whoa! They're not English though. Oh. <laughs> But it says but Pokemon still, right on the front. You're right, it does, but keep reading. <laughs> what on earth? I can't even read it through the camera. Really, it's a cart, cart spell. That's still so cool, Real though. cart spell. Okay, is this that box? Or is it something else? No, but this this might be even better. I don't know. Everything here is insane. <laughs> I've been surprised. It's red. It's Virtual Boy. Oh. Look closer. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, that's sealed. That's sealed. What? <laughs> and honestly, that's the best Virtual Boy game that there is, Wario Land. Wow. Factory sealed. That is, that's unique. <laughs> Is that, a, is that gonna go in your collection? That's cool. I don't know, maybe. You don't have any Virtual Boy. That's pretty sweet. All right, and this is, this is probably the grand finale of this collection, and it's one that I would imagine a lot of people don't know about. Huh? Resident <gasps> Evil Gaiden. You do know about this. Mm-hmm. Incredibly rare. The cartridge is, I think it's 200 plus, just the cartridge. Finding it complete in box, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, it doesn't really happen, and this one has the wrapping on it still. It's it's not new, but the box is well protected. I would put, I would value this pushing a thousand dollars. Yeah. Because finding it in this condition, unheard it, of. It is not concave, it is that like thing is a nice. very good box. That thing really excited me. I mean, everything from this collection was bananas. Uh, I can't remember the exact deal we came to for this box. I think it was in the neighborhood of 1500 bucks. Give or take, it might have been more. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't I don't remember. Hi, how are you? Two more boxes. <laughs> two more boxes, very excited for these two. Let's just dive right in. These are games, 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 games. And uh, I've done lots of deals with this guy. Shout out to Scott. <laughs> and I mean, oh. that is absolutely glorious. So we have. Four Swords Adventure, Wind Waker, the collector's edition. Promo disc. I think everything is complete. Um, both of the complete versions for the NES, Zelda 1 and 2. Be excited to see how nice the carts are. They look how gold. They look good. I know. I mean, that's, they both look really good. Zelda A Link to the Past. That's crazy. This was a great game. This yeah. is a great like entry to Zelda right here. I like that one, and Link's Awakening is fun. Zelda Wind Waker HD. This is the gold cover art, which is a lot more uncommon than the later release different cover art. It's like blue. Yeah. So that's the one to look for for Wii U collecting. There's Minish Cap. What? Complete. I've never heard of this one. Yeah. That's uh, tough to find complete. Interesting. And we also have Oracle of Ages for Game Boy and Oracle of Seasons, but wait for it. It's the not for resale demo. That's, is that like the, what does it say on the back? That's Like huge. the ID number or Property something? of Nintendo has the store name. All I can make out is SKM and then the store number. So that was like in a kiosk or something. That's Incredibly cool. rare. That is a great little find right there. Property of Chase after the right price, Caterpie. That's right. It is now. <laughs> Zelda Spirit Tracks, Triforce Heroes, Hyrule. Link Between Worlds, Phantom Hourglass, and then two Switch games, Hyrule Warriors and Age of Calamity. And there's the regular cover art of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That is sealed, but compared to the Master Edition, which is hiding back there. It's buried. <laughs> um, different cover art. And there's one more box. Ta -da -da. There you go. And I paid 1500 bucks for this collection here, these two boxes. Star Fox for SNES, Star Fox 64, and that has everything and is in fantastic condition. That is isn't really Rumble good Pack included. That was like the introduction to the Rumble Pack, I believe. Like, really the first iteration of any Rumble in any controller. Super Smash Bros. Melee, all-time great. Brawl, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so what much... do you mean? That's more eh. <laughs> this? I mean, that's still good, but it's the 3DS version yeah, eh. of a great Smash. No, no it's not eh. <laughs> That's a great, this is a great smash right here. This is like my favorite. It, it is, I'm just saying 3DS. Yeah, Man. yeah. You much rather would play on, on physical console. Oh, baby. And then the OG Smash Bros 64, Mario Kart 64, Xenoblade for Wii, uh, Gumbolt Striker Pack, so both of those for Switch and 3DS, and then the Chronicles X for Wii U, and... What's this big boy? It's a collector's edition. I think it's Valkyria Chronicles 4, yep. The Kira Chronicles 4, fully complete inside of there. This is like only like super awesome games right here. Like the best, mostly first party Nintendo, glorious collection, fantastic. These are all of the games. This is all of the toys and more. This shelf is my favorites from all three collections. Spent $8,300. But if you wanna have a chance at buying a bunch of the stuff from these collections, as we're doing a massive whatnot auction, 
on the 16th at 5 p.m. Eastern. You gotta come and hang with us. That's where we're giving away this PS5. From that collection, mint condition, we're giving it away to somebody that night during the WhatNot auction. We will also have multiple Switch games that we're giving away like this one and probably at least 10 more sealed Switch games. We're giving them all away. So you gotta come and hang for that reason, but also all of this stuff on the table and so much more we'll be auctioning off and having in the Buy It Now. Let's take a closer look right here. Ninja Gaiden 9.2A for NES sealed. Demon's Crest, holy grail. Population one, 9.8 A plus. Unbelievable. I've been sitting on this for a long time and we're gonna be selling it on the 16th. That's gonna be absolutely crazy. We got more graded games. We've got sealed Wario Land for Virtual Boy that we showed, the Resident Evil. Gaiden, unbelievably rare for Game Boy Color. Guys, these are first print Pokemon Red. We got two of them. First print Pokemon Blue. All of these completed box games from Bloodlines to Contra to Rare 32X to Final Fantasy to Zelda, Smash, Mario Land, Metroid. It's unbelievable how much stuff is gonna be at this show. And that's just what we got on the table. We'll have hundreds more items, including all of these Bite Nows that are live right now. So some of the Power Rangers items are up there. We got some of those ones down there, the Turtles, the Power Rangers, all of these packs, all of these games. And guys, these are live right now. These can be purchased today. If you go over or whatnot, get $15 credit if you use our link. And we would really appreciate that. It'll help us out and it'll support. And you get free 15 bucks to use on any of these buy it nows that you could buy today using your credit. You might as well. And come and hang out. See, see the madness, guys. Sky Guy. We have a ton of fun and whatnot, am I right? Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> I didn't realize I was talking to Peter right there. Oh, sorry. My apologies. I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> so come hang with us because we have a ton of fun. We're going to be hanging for about five hours, selling everything, giving away the PS5, giving away 10 Switch games. It's going to be crazy. We will see you there on the 16th at 5 p.m. Eastern. And that's about it. See you.